Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and this is my plutonium processing guide for HBM Smart. Now in my previous video, I showed you guys a step by step process of how you can obtain uranium fuel from uranium ore. But the process for plutonium is going to be a bit different as there is no direct ore available called plutonium ore which you can process into plutonium fuel. So the method which we are going to use in this video is going to be the breeding reactor method in which we are going to transform uranium which is a lighter element into the heavier element which is plutonium. Now plutonium is a much better source of fuel than uranium ever will be so it is always a good idea to use plutonium for your fission reactors. So with that said guys without any further ado let's get straight into this video. So to start this video the very first resource that you are gonna need is as usual uranium ore. Now uranium ore is the easiest to find in the overworld. Now for the machines you are gonna need a furnace, centrifuge, the breeding reactor which is the most important one out of all these, a shredder, one chemical plant and also one gas centrifuge. And make sure that all of these are connected with power. The breeding reactor won't require any power but the other machines are gonna need some sort of power. So make sure that you have an energy setup. So yeah, let's start processing the uranium. So the very first thing that you are gonna do is take uranium ore and put it in an electric furnace and that should give you uranium ingots. Now also put some uranium in the centrifuge as when it start processing the uranium ore, it is going to give you two uranium powder and also it is gonna give you polonium nuggets. Now it is the polonium nuggets that we are really interested in because we are going to need the polonium nuggets in order to run our breeding reactor yeah so make sure that you take good care of these polonium nuggets you can use the uranium dust in order to process uranium fuel so once you have your uranium ingots make some uranium nuggets from them and then take your uranium nuggets and stack them like this and that shall give you a uranium billet now take your uranium pillar and also take one empty rod and the process for empty rod is the same it is the same recipe and keep your uranium rod with your uranium pillar and that should give you one uranium rod so yeah as soon as you have enough uranium rods it's now time to craft the polonium rods so the process is still the same make one polonium pillar and keep an empty rod in order to get a polonium rod. So now that we have our polonium rod and our uranium rod, the polonium rod goes in the bottom chamber of the breeding reactor and that should give you four heat. And as soon as you place the uranium rod in the upper section of the breeding reactor, the reaction should start. And when this finishes, you are going to get a plutonium rod from this uranium rod. And the indicator for this is this green flashes of light. When you are seeing these green flashes, it means that the reaction is gone. So let's wait. And now that the reaction is going to finish after some time, we should be getting a plutonium rod. There, we have a plutonium rod. So now take this plutonium rod and we are going to extract plutonium billets and nuggets from it. So keep this plutonium rod in the crafting bench and that should give you one plutonium billet which in turn will give you 6 plutonium nuggets. Now you need a total of 9 plutonium nuggets in order to make 1 plutonium ingot. So yeah, make so basically you are gonna need 2 plutonium rods to start this off. And once you have a plutonium ingot, that plutonium ingot is now gonna go into a shredder. As soon as you place this into a shredder, you will start getting plutonium powder. And this is what we needed from the starting point. Yeah. So now that you have plutonium powder, it's now time to form plutonium hexafluoride. And plutonium hexafluoride production will be done with plutonium powder, fluoride and also water. So make sure that you have as much plutonium powder as you can get your hands on and start placing them in the chemical plant. After placing some water and some fluoride, the reaction should begin shortly.
and there we have started producing plutonium hexafluoride so now it's time to take this plutonium hexafluoride out of the chemical plant and into the gas centrifuge and in order to do that you are going to need the fluid identifier for plutonium hexafluoride and you are also going to need the universal fluid duct so once you have these two materials connect the chemical plant with the gas centrifuge using a universal fluid duct and then using your fluid identifier convert these universal fluid pipes and after placing the fluid identifier in the gas centrifuge you will see that plutonium hexafluoride starts filling up and the bar is going to go to the maximum and as soon as it does that we will start getting reactor grade plutonium nuggets yeah so that is all the plutonium hexafluoride is going to give you it is going to give you reactor grade plutonium nuggets in all these slots now to produce plutonium fuel you are going to need reactor grade plutonium nuggets and you are also going to need uranium 238 nuggets so that is why it is important to process uranium hexafluoride and the process can be found in my previous video so take uranium 238 nuggets and some reactor grade plutonium nuggets and place them in this formation four plutonium reactor grade nuggets and two uranium 238 nuggets and that should give you one plutonium fuel pillar now when you place this plutonium fuel billet with an empty rod it will give you one plutonium fuel rod and this plutonium fuel rod will produce 25 heat per ticks and it will last for 75,000 ticks so that is quite a lot of time so that was all I had for this video guys if you guys liked it please smash that like button and also subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorial on HBM mod missiles military and stuff that you have never seen in minecraft for all of you guys who watch till the end i love you guys you are awesome so stay safe and peace out